Welcome to Alan's Trains and a short series on Inkscape for real beginners. Hope these help. So you've downloaded Inkscape and this is the opening page. If you've used word processors or spreadsheets, a lot of the uh, labels at the top will be familiar, such as File, Edit, View. If you click on the file, this will allow you to open a new document or a recent document and save or save as. They're the main ones you need to know at the moment, as well as closing and quitting. Underneath these labels, there are icons that you will need to learn, but the ones that I want to look at are the basic ones. If we look here, we can see that there is a save icon instead of using the file at the top and save. You can all use a print to print the document and you can also open the new document. So you don't have to use the labels at the top. Whichever you're comfortable with, that's okay. You now have icons down the left hand side. On the left hand side, the first one is the select tool. This is very important, this one because if you click on there, you can then select any of the icons and use the icon on your page. When you want to change to another icon, click on the select and it will then clear that uh, request you've made and take you to whichever icon you then click on. So let's look and start with the basic icons. The square. Let's look at how to build a square. Click on the rectangle tool. Hold your left mouse button down. Click and drag to a size and release. Then click on the select tool. Now the select tool will highlight what you've just done. Now if you want to go to a line draw, which is this icon here, the pen tool. It also draws curves and straight lines. Click on there. We can now hold, click and hold the left key down on the mouse and draw a line. And again, click and release. Go to another, click, and then you can draw another line. Right click and you're out. Click on the select and it will leave that on screen. If you want to see that, click on the screen and it will leave what you've drawn. They're the two basic things that you will need to do first. If we then want to take that further, we can then draw circles. So if we then cl click on the select to clear our selection, click on the circle and do the same thing. Hold the button down on your left mouse and draw a shape. Then right click to leave it and go to select tool. Select tool will then leave it, click on the screen and there it will be what you've drawn. That's the basic start to Inkscape. We now want to save that document. So we now go to File. We'll use the labels at the top, File, and Save As. Now, not Save because you'd have to have a title on the document to start with. So we're going to set a document up. Save As, and it will allow you to save somewhere in your directories. And I've got an Inkscape directory. I'll just leave this at the bottom and we'll call this first drawing. Clear whatever's in the box and put first drawing. My spelling isn't so good there. And save. You now have the document saved. If we now make an alteration to this and we'll draw another circle. So press your select tool, press circle and draw another circle. Right click to get out, select tool and there we have the circle. Any doubt, always use the select tool icon. Now, if we try to leave this document without saving, if we click on File and then we say Close, 
It will say, do you want to close without saving? Do you want to cancel or do you want to save? Now, if you want to save it, then click save and it will overwrite the previous file. So if we now go looking for that file, go to file and you will find open recent. If you then go across, it will show you that that was the last drawing you opened, saved as an SVG file. If we click on there and it will bring the file back. You're then ready to edit the file. These are the basic icons that you need just to get started. I hope this helps and in the next video we'll look at putting these things into a practical project. Thank you and see you next time.